So now we can just kick back, chillax, and start raiding. Norse Republic of Sweden, indeed. Now let's take a look here how our religion is doing. We need to reform it quickly. 32. We need to start... Oh, hello then. We've res... Uh, looks like this guy's gonna die. Aha! Success! Armor was caught with a deadly arrow crossfire between the scroll depository and a grassy knoll. The story was concocted about a lone bowman. Seems to be working perfectly. Well, that's one less threat to the establishment. A daughter was born. I have yet more children. And we continue raiding. The Yaldum of Berekslagen. Did we did we discuss this? Are you related to me in any way? No, you're not. You do not get a Yaldum without me telling you that you get a Yaldum. However, it looks like we can have a great blot. I can hardly wait. And <laughs> we send the guy to prison just as the great blot is uh, warming up. <laughs> Ah, the guests have arrived in time to come for the blot to begin. You gather outside the temple and start by offering animals as sacrifice to the gods. While their meat is prepared for the feast, that is to follow the blood sprinkled on the statues of Odin, Thor, Freyr, and the other gods. As well as on the worshippers themselves. And now, for the human sacrifice. Ah... Harfen is brought up from your dungeon and escorted to the temple. When he sees a dangling noose about to be placed around his neck, he pushes the nearest god aside and makes a desperate run for it, but no avail. Your men drag him, kicking and screaming back to the temple. Balfather, we offer you the sacrifice. And that's, that's a cool 25 prestige and 15 piety right there. Whole Ruffer is brought up from the dungeons and is also escorted to the test. Uh, to, uh, apparently he hates me. That's another 25 prestige. Uh, oh, hello. We haven't seen this one before. Vikisha is brought from her dungeon and escorted to the temple. A noose is placed around her neck and the rope is thrown over a sturdy branch of a nearby oak. A small yellow pool forms at her feet. And another bunch of, uh, yeah, stuff. Svanhildr is brought up from your dungeons and escorted to the temple. Even as the noose is placed around her neck, Svanhildr stares vacantly ahead without betraying any emotions whatsoever. It would seem that she has accepted her fate. All Father, we offer you this sacrifice. Let the celebrations begin! Everybody's happy. Good. Very good. We're doing well. Until next time, morale of armies increases. Very nice. This chief over here, we're going to go and send you off to uh, Uplant. And the spy master, we will uh, send you to make a spy network over here. We have so much gold. My god. Can I, uh, can I? Mm, I could. And you're Christian as well. Hmm. A Hellenic sunset invasion. The return of Hercle Her Hercules? Is, is that even legit? I thought we were doing a, nat uh, uh, a Nazi moon base one. That would have been fun. Alright, it's all burning. How much is on the boat? Did I get any money out of that? Alright, we're up to 32. Temple's looted. We're getting there. Atlantis and the deep underground kingdom of Agatha should be next. Well, I was I was thinking thinking about like Shambhala or something along those lines. Uh, Iron Skies is awesome. If you like Iron Sky, then you should probably watch Nazis at the center of the earth. My unwed daughter has been indiscreet. She has been hiding her pregnancy from me and now presents me with her child. Pay heavily to deal with it quietly. The child is of my blood and will take care of them both. Punish her harshly and give away the child. I will uh, accept the child as my own. My cocoa spirator. Oh. oh, well, we have more death coming up. That's good. 
Huh. Well, should I? No, I still get. I get five ducats a month. That's kind of crazy. All right. Uh, Chalt needs a guardian. <laughs> that's that's put up with a guardian. Oh, hello, Prince Bishop Gui. Preacher from the service of King of Lothar III of Lotharingia has arrived in Upland to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. He has little regard for our old faith, declaring it sinful, and has explained in detail the horrors we shall suffer in the afterlife unless we mend our ways. Well, my friend, there are horrors to suffer in this life as well. That's good. Oh, another one. But this one is from King Louis of West Francia. And we are Vikings. The pillaging and looting undertaking your name has earned you a reputation as a fearsome Viking raider. All along the coast of Europe, mothers tucking their children in at night warn that unless they behave, the terrible Eriker, scourge of the seas, will come ashore with his undead warriors and eat them. I like the sound of that. And that gives me a bonus. Plus prestige. And, uh, you know, people, people like me better. I could technically swear fealty to Byzantium. Could I swear fealty to Byzantium? If I really wanted to, could I swear... No, I cannot. That is a shame. Oh, hello. More ducats for me. 45. I've got so much money now. I've been raiding my way across. We're down to 30? Why is it so low? Alright. Um, I'm going to need to take Paderborn, I guess. My reputation. It is ruined. Who cares? Why... Apparently, apparently I'm losing Holy Wars. That's not very good. No, it's minus 29. It's, it's, it's dropping. It's dropping ra ra rapidly. We also don't have enough piety to do anything with this, but, uh, yeah. Even if, even if I had the other two sites in Tholan and Paderborn, it would not be enough to do anything with. Still. Wow, Smelly Melon, you're, uh, you've got some crazy ideas there. Let's not do Hellenic Zombies. I don't think that's a very good idea. But yeah, Crusader Kings 2, that's the game you're watching right now. It's currently on sale. 75% off. Pretty cool deal, actually. You should go check it out. Uh, this guy. Oh my god, no wonder, he, no wonder I can't kill him. His intrigue is like LOL high. Oh, hello. Your courtier. Let's, uh, let's uh, give it a good tumble. There we go. It's good to be the king. Yes. Did I actually form this? My son is 42 years old. My prisoner, Christian. Well, if the dungeon is so cold, I will take you as my concubine. And uh, there we go. Do you have any interesting traits? You're deceitful. A deceitful concubine. That's, uh, that's not very good. What else do I have in my dungeon, actually? Oh, hello. Ransom prisoner. We'll, we'll do some of that. Let's get some more gold. Yes, it's another cool 200 ducats right there. I'll have to wait with the, uh, with the upcoming... Mm-hmm. Ingeborg. Soga. Gui. Ingfrit. That's just easy money. And we continue on our quest of conquest. Well, we, we looted like a ton of temples. Oh no, my reputation is ruined. I need like a. Uh, hmm. 
I'd, I'd totally go for like a controlled invasion, but you know, it's not very practical. You need a crusade against Catholics to reaffirm the Norse faith. I know, I know. Don't, don't, you know. I, I know what is up. Can I? Can I? I don't want to. Actually, I could probably just declare war on this guy. Just a holy war. A solid holy war. I'm, I'm, I think I'm up for a holy war. That sounds good. I think it's time for a holy war. These Christians need to quiver in their boots. I've got more than enough money now. i got 1,200 ducats. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, Osirai. That is nice. Conquest. Is there no holy? I, I I can't holy war, can I? Uh, can I get any Breton news though? Yes, I can. Just one set. How many? Oh, many, all your shits on fire. <laughs> that is hilarious. Can I attack you? Uh, de jure. Yes. What do I need to? create Scandinavia. I need all of that. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Destroy the Catholic cowards. And that's exactly what I will be doing. You can, uh... Oh. We can lower the amount of boats. That's fine. Let's go and attack you. Christian rulers. What a joke. Oh, and of course, instantly, his revolt ends. Alright. Doesn't matter now. We're gonna go and invade Yiland anyway, so it's okay. We can't because he's not independent. Uh, this guy, though, it's, uh, he's Christian, isn't he? Yes. What do I get? Do I get any moral authority? Yes, I do. Plus one. That's exactly what I want. What? Uh, what? Why did that just pop up? Oh, conscript. All right, conscript ships. Yeah, we don't need that. And uh, we'll leave all the other all the other cubs. In our uh, in our dungeon, for them to uh, wiggle. Norse India sounds fun. I've done it. Norse India is pretty cool. It's a cool idea. Keeps keeps the man busy, so to speak. Wow, we've been playing for almost three hours now. It's pretty hardcore. We're gonna be playing a bit more. Maybe another two hours. You have to go through Iran to get there, so it takes 200 years. No, no, there's much easier ways of doing that. Uh -huh. Here we go. I'm going to send you to steal some technology here in Friesland. I have so much money, it's ridiculous. Wow, 1,400 troops, eh? That's, uh, I'd say that is impressive, but I'd be lying. Let's go and crush these assholes. Bam, you're dead. Thanks for coming. Follow them down. You're gonna die. And I get more money. Excellent. Invade Egypt. What what would a Viking do in Egypt? Let's 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 just seriously ask that question. What would a Viking do in Egypt? Hmm? Like chill out, hang on the pyramids. I lose lustful, that's a shame. But don't worry, I get more heavy infantry, that's fine. Um, so town infrastructure. Shipbuilding is always nice. Majesty is good. And popular customs. And that should put that in my bag. Perfect. That means I can usurp the petty kingdom of Yiland. Sweat uncomfortably. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something you would do. Uh, in the <laughs> in in Yilam. All right. So my son 
I am going to grant you the Yardum of Shellant. 